I love Kirby. It's pretty obvious, I'm a huge fanatic of the Pink Puffball. I've played pretty much every single game in the series. But with a series with this many games, there are bound to be some cancelled and unreleased games. So today, we're going to be looking at the cancelled and scrapped games from the Kirby series. Starting off with the most obvious and well-known cancelled Kirby game, it's called Kirby GameCube. This was first shown off to the public at E3 2005, but then E3 2006 came along, and there was no sign of the game. Same with E3 2007 to 2009. However, at E3 2010, a Kirby game was shown off, and this game was Kirby's Epic Yarn, but had absolutely zero resemblance to the Kirby game that was shown off at E3 2005. So, where is it? But out of nowhere, at E3 2011, a game titled Kirby Wii was shown off. This eventually turned into Kirby's Return to Dreamland, a released game. However, it still wasn't Kirby GameCube. So what happened to it? Well, in an interview, developers said that they couldn't just make a game that was both single player and multiplayer. This game looked really cool and it's unfortunate that it got cancelled. But thankfully, future Kirby games, such as Return to Dreamland and Star Allies, have a lot of elements from this game. The game took a concept from Superstar, where you could turn copy abilities into partners. They revisited this idea in Star Allies. This is such a neat piece of Kirby history, and it's a shame it was cancelled. Or, if you look at it in a certain way, move to the Wii. The next cancelled game is a small one. We only have two screenshots to go off of. This game is a 3D Kirby game. Although we have Forgotten Land now, the concept of a 3D Kirby game was brand new at the time. However, it was scrapped because it did not meet the quality and expectations they were hoping for. Thankfully, this game paved the way for a proper 3D Kirby game over 20 years later. As they say, this game walked so Forgotten Land can run. This is another interesting cancelled Kirby game. This game looks a lot like a storybook. You also had the ability to upgrade copy abilities. But as far as I know, there isn't a reason that this game is cancelled. It looks amazing though, so it's sad to see it was forgotten. We only have two screenshots currently existing of this game, so maybe if another Giga Leak happens, we'll be able to see more of what this game could have been. Now this is a cancelled Kirby game that you probably didn't know existed. It was called Kirby Family. It was revealed at Space World 2001, and this game was set to release on the Game Boy Color using the Game Boy Color sewing machine which, yes, is a real thing, but it sold very poorly, which caused the game to be cancelled. I don't really care for the game, which would have sold poorly anyway, but it makes sense why it was cancelled. All you did was just sew Kirby characters, so it's not really a real Kirby game or anything. The next game is actually a sequel to another Kirby game that already released. This was shown off at Space World 2001, it was titled Kirby Tilt and Tumble 2. This game is very unique. It uses the link cable between the Game Boy Advance and GameCube system, where you could tilt Kirby using the GBA. The game cart would have a tilt sensor like Yoshi Topsy Turvy. This game looks so much better than the original. There are fully 3D rendered environments now. However, the gameplay is mostly faithful to the original, so people were excited for the game. But when the game reappeared, everything Kirby related was gone. Now just a generic marble. And that game was also scrapped, and the gimmick never saw the light of day. It's really a shame. This game looked very fun, but it probably would have been very hard to emulate in the future to preserve it. The next game, unfortunately, has almost no information known. It was called Kid Kirby, and it only appeared in a Mexican Club Nintendo magazine in 1995, and it was planned for the Super Nintendo. Very little artwork from this game exists, and there's no gameplay of it. However, from the artwork that we do have, we can see that it was, of course, a Kid Kirby. This game was supposed to use the SNES mouse of all things. You would be able to click, drag, and release Kirby to launch him in certain paths, kind of like Angry Birds when you really think about it. There were also power-ups in this game that can morph into different abilities like paper, airplane, or rock. Currently, only 9 stages are available to view, and all it is is just a level map, so there's nothing too interesting. But if you want to see them, i link them in the description. There is going to be 120 stages in the game, 60 that are part of story mode, and 60 being secret bonus stages. It's a shame that this game didn't see the light of day. It would have been so interesting to see Kid Kirby, and maybe we could have found out his backstory. But unfortunately, unless another Giga Leak happens, I don't think we're going to see any gameplay of this anytime soon. Now going back to scrap titles of actual footage, we have Kirby Bowl 64. 
This game was shown off at Space World 1995. It was planned to be a Nintendo 64 launch title. The game was around 20% finished at the time that it was shown. The game looked very similar to a released Kirby game on the Super Nintendo, Kirby's Dream Course. It was even a 4 player mode. There were two modes, one that looked similar to Dream Course, where Kirby's a ball, and another mode that has Kirby on some sort of snowboard or something, I don't know. However, for unknown reasons, this game did not show up for the launch of the N64, and eventually was scrapped. This game might have actually turned into Kirby Air Ride for the GameCube, since before it was scrapped, the game got renamed into Kirby's Air Ride. Kirby's Air Ride for the Nintendo 64 was another cancelled Kirby game. This game is basically just snowboard levels of Kirby Bowl 64 that I mentioned earlier. However, none of the courses shown off ended up being in the GameCube release, and several elements such as the health bar was scrapped too. But at least this game kinda released since we got it for the GameCube, so this concept wasn't forgotten. So you made it to the end of the video. I want to say thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment justice for Kirby GameCube if you watch until the end. And I'll see you all next time. Peace. Kirby, 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 that's the name you should know. Kirby, 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 he's the star of the show. He's more than you think, he's got maximum pink. Kirby, Kirby, Kirby's the one. He comes right back at ya. He comes right back at ya. Give it all that you got. Take your very best shot.